Hello, teachers, parents, and educational leaders, and welcome to this episode of Breaking Down the Best. Now, during this episode, you will get a peek into the members-only area where I have tons of resources to help you make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. There should be a link somewhere around this video where you can learn more. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to it, and let's break down the standard. Welcome to Breaking Down the Best, a video series dedicated to breaking down Florida's best standards for math. So grab something to write with and maybe even a snack. This looks good. And don't forget to put a smile on your face. There you go. I see you. And let's dive into today's best hey. standard. Hey, hey, everyone. My name is Sarah McCarthy, and I'm so pumped that you are here joining me as we break down the following standard. Today's standard is MA.5.GR.2.1, and this standard says to find the perimeter, which is the distance around a figure, and the area, which is the space inside of a figure of a rectangle with fractional or decimal side lengths using visual models and formulas. By the way, this document that you see me marking up all over is something that is provided by the Florida Department of Education. They release it out to the public, and in these episodes, I'm just showing you how I break down the standard in order to create the resources that are strategically aligned and you're taking on the best membership. So we'll look at the standard, and then we'll go over to the website, and I'll show you what resources you have access to that are specifically aligned to the standard today. Okay, so benchmark clarifications. It says instruction includes finding the area of a rectangle with fractional side lengths by tiling it. So basically using our visual of multiplying fractions by fractions like we've done in a previous standard. And responses include the appropriate units in word form as well. There are a lot of related benchmarks here that provide that horizontal alignment um, we've got NSO.2.3, which is adding and subtracting decimals, which when we're finding the perimeter, we're adding up these decimal side lengths. 2.4 is multiplying and dividing decimals. When we're finding the area, we're multiplying those. 2.5 is multiplying and dividing by one tenth and one hundredth. We've got FR.2.1, which is adding and subtracting fractions. 2.2 is multiplying fractions, and 2.3 is that scaling by, produce, by predicting the relative size of fractions when you're multiplying them. AR.1.2 is adding, subtracting, and multiplying fractions in the real world, and M.1.1 is measurement conversion. So you can see there are a lot of other standards that are definitely correlated with this one as well. Some terms that you need to know area model that is a visual model that we'll use in the video lessons and perimeter i'm not sure why they didn't mention area itself but perimeter is the distance or the length around a figure how about some vertical alignment where are they coming from well in third grade we had gr.2.3 and this was our real world problems with perimeter and area standard then in fourth grade we increased the complexity of area and perimeter having missing side lengths, and also increasing the digits when we're multiplying and dividing. So here we're bumping it up even more, finding the area and perimeter using fractions and decimals. In sixth grade, students will be expected to find the perimeter and area on a coordinate plane, so they'll be able to find that there. For this one, when we're talking about area and visual models, we're talking about um, if the side lengths are less than one, we can use that tiling feature finding the area, using an area model, shading in, drawing it out kind of thing. But for side lengths that are greater than one, we're going to use the area model that's like this, where we're breaking down or decomposing the numbers to be able to multiply them a little bit more simply. For instance, two and five tenths times six and seven tenths could be broken down into two plus five tenths and six plus seven tenths, and then finding the product of each in there and then adding them all together. All right, the purpose and instructional strategies section, it says that the purpose of this benchmark is for students to understand how to work with fractions and decimal sums and products when calculating perimeter and area. 
basically tying in what they knew from fourth grade and third grade into what they've learned by adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing decimals and fractions this year. It really does put it into a real world setting for them. We should encourage the use of models or drawings and that we're gonna find the area. It's the same as tiling with a rectangle that we've done before in a previous standard. It says this benchmark provides a natural real world context, what we were just saying, and also a visual model for multiplication of fractions and decimals. Okay, some common misconceptions or errors that they make. It says students may believe that multiplication will always result in a larger number, and I said hopefully they have learned this with this standard right here, which is our predicting the relative size when we're multiplying with fractions or quantities that are less than, greater than, or equal to one. For this instructional task, I just said, wow, because we're given that the length is five and two tenths of inches. The width is one half of this length. So we're finding half, which would be 0 0.5 or five tenths times five and two tenths to figure out what that width would be. So we'd have to draw the rectangle to show the dimensions, find the perimeter, and find the area. So this is definitely in the scope of the standard, and uh, it's just, there's a lot to that sample of an instructional task. Um, here's an instructional item. It says, what's the area of the square below? And this would be great for using tiling as a visual, which I'll show you in the video lessons. Right now, actually, let's go ahead and hop over to the website and see what you have access to. Okay, so here we are at the website. We're going to click Members Enter here. And then we're going to select Taking on the Best, fifth grade, and scroll down to your GR strand, Geometric Reasoning. And we are right here at ma.5.gr.2.1, the perimeter and area of rectangles with fractional or decimal side lengths. That's the one we want. The first page that you will open up to is your bronze resources. These are your video lessons and printable student guides, basically where students can watch these video lessons and record notes that they can then use when they go out to practice more. So the intention of these video lessons is to make it fun and to make it click. But in order for students to master this skill, they have to take it further and actually apply those practice problems on their own. The first video lesson is with fractional side lengths. And the second video lesson that we have is with decimal side lengths. And so you can see here that we've practiced modeling what we've learned about multiplying fractions in the past. So this one right here, this is that tiling feature, using that to help us to figure it out. And then here we're using the, because these are both greater than one, we're using the area model to multiply these two fractions. So that way you can just see a quick glimpse into it. If you think that you need help with this, feel free to go ahead and pre-watch the video lessons to be ready with this standard. And then after your students watch that, if you have access to the silver plan, you have more practice for them. So let's go to click here for your printables. So this is the first video lesson, it goes with a bronze page. Here you can see that we're finding the perimeter and the area using this area model. Again, finding the perimeter and area. And then there's extra practice after they have their notes. Now they can go in and do the same thing on their own, just with different values. Here we've got perimeter and area with decimal side lengths. This is the video lesson. They'll record their notes here, and then they can use that with their extra practice. This is a math mission where we're kind of putting it all together. And this is similar to the instructional item that we saw, the instructional task that we saw in the standard breakdown. It says Xavier draws a rectangle in the sand at the beach. He measures the length of his rectangle and determines it is 16 and 4 tenths inches. This is exactly what you want to do when you're on vacation at the beach, right? The width of his rectangle is exactly half of the length. So to draw a picture and then look at the error and reasoning here and what's the area. So tying it all together in that math task. And the final activity of the silver plan is the Math Misconception Mystery video. You go right here, click play, and I will guide your students through the entire process. First, I'll instruct them to solve this problem either on their own or with their small group. It says, what's the perimeter and area of the square below? So of course, for a square, we have four equal sides, so we know the value of the length and the width. Students will solve this problem, and then they will click play and continue the video to watch as four other characters also solve that same problem. 
These characters are just me dressed up in silly costumes and I will be making mistakes with three of the characters. Three common mistakes that students make and only one of them has the correct answer. So this creates a wonderful opportunity for your students to discuss and decide and justify who the most reasonable answer belongs to and evaluating the work of the others. It's great for a group discussion. And of course you got your answer keys right there. If you have the gold plan, you just click there where it says if you have the gold plan, click here. You can go back to any of the other bronze or silver level of resources, but you also have access to a mini assessment for this standard and all the other standards in fifth grade as well. So you can see right here, here's the standard. It says show what you know, so you can use this as a mini assessment or as extra practice. I try to incorporate a variety of question types here. Just like that, finding the area and perimeter. We see decimals, we see fractions. We are on point. Your answer key is right there. This episode of Breaking Down the Best, if you are, if you have the gold plan, you're watching it right there. Gold members receive the ad-free version while on YouTube, there are ads for these videos. So it's just a nice little perk of being a gold member, but the highlight of the gold plan is access to McCarthy Math 155. This is a daily math intervention that's aligned to the Common Core Standards. Now I know that it says Common Core Standards and we are aligning all of our resources to the best standards now. There are a lot of skills that do trickle over. So let's enter into here, that 155 that stands for 155 video lessons for each grade level. So when we click on fifth grade, you can see some of the units that we have access to. All right. Now I will let you know that we do not have a perimeter and area unit for the Common Core standards. But what are we doing in this unit? We're finding the area and we're finding the perimeter, which means we're adding and multiplying fractions, right? So if your students need help with that, go right here to operations with fractions. You'll see that there are 30 video lessons, adding and subtracting fractions, multiplying and dividing fractions. Here's just a sample of some of the things here, adding fractions with unlike denominators. You see we go from the basic less than one fractions into mixed numbers and fractions that are greater than one, subtracting them as well. Then we go into multiplication in a minute. There we go, multiplication using a drawing. Okay, so it's a lot of great stuff here, multiplication with mixed numbers. So there are definitely lessons to help you if you have students struggling with adding and multiplying fractions. You, can, you have a lot here in McCarthy Math 155. And I think that that is it as far as going over the standard and what you have access to. I hope that you found this to be helpful. So before we go, let me remind you that what you wake up and you choose to do every day with your life, it really does matter. Thank you for stepping into the leadership position that you have, for inspiring your students to take on the best version of themselves. And thank you so much for inviting me into your educational space. I truly love being able to support you, support your students, and put some time back into your pocket so you can enjoy your nights and weekends. Speaking of time, I know that you are busy. You've got lots of stuff to do, lots on your plate. I know. I totally get it. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go, and I will see you in a video real soon, okay? Bye! Okay, so I know that I just said goodbye for now, but I'm gonna ask you to do one more thing, okay? If you enjoyed this episode, please consider sharing it with your teacher friends or other leaders in education. That's how I get to continue doing what I love to do, which of course is supporting you all to the best <laughs> of my ability. All right, for real now, bye!